Hello, magandang araw sa inyo. Ako po si Chef Pantilan and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Kurt. Today, I'm going to demonstrate for you a very special Pinoy dish from the Philippines, calderetang kambing. Whether it's for birthday or special occasion, caldereta is always wonderful for having nostalgic food. Food that you associate with your family, di ba? For me, it brings back memories of good times all the time. Whether it's Christmas or New Year, you know, things like that. Actually, the caldereta dish was adapted from the Spanish during their 300-year occupation of the Philippines. Pero siyempre naman, it became a favorite among the Filipinos and we made our own versions. Okay, mag na tayo. So the first step is you take a big pot and you turn on the heat. Then you take two onions sliced into medium-sized cubes, add it to the pot, and to this bed of onions, you add two pounds of boneless lamb. Then you add an entire bulb of garlic that you mashed, some crushed peppercorn, one teaspoon of salt, two bay leaves, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and finally, two tablespoons of soy sauce. When the mixture starts to boil, stir it around once or twice to make sure that it is properly mixed. Now, some people like to put additional water at this stage, but that is not necessary because there's plenty of juices from the lamb and the onions. You have to be careful not to let it get too watery kasi kung masyado namang masabaw, nilaga ng tawag to, di ba? Cover it with a lid and turn down the heat to as low as possible. Leave it for approximately one hour. You have to test the meat for tenderness, which is now good. So now you can turn it back up to medium heat. And now you can add one can of tomato sauce, three tablespoons of peanut butter, one teaspoon red chili powder, two potatoes sliced into medium cubes, two carrots sliced diagonally, and finally, half a cup of green peas. Mix it around once or twice and allow to boil until carrots and potatoes are soft, about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, almost done. Then add two teaspoons of brown sugar to balance out the sourness of the vinegar from before. And finally, add two red bell peppers sliced lengthwise. Again, stir it around once or twice and leave it in for another minute or two. Oh wow wow wee, that's ready. Add it to some rice. Okay, kain na tayo. Mmm, sarap! Sarap talaga. Well, I hope you enjoyed this session with Chef Bantilan and that you are all now excited to cook this very special Pinoy dish, Calderetang Kambing. I hope that you'll be joining me next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Maraming salamat!